Okay, I'm going to do a walk around of our 2000 Damon Challenger 330 and we have had this coach for three years. We had it completely repainted and a significant amount of engine work was done to get it ready to go for us. Replaced the awning and then it has a large amount of storage on the outside. Got a storage compartment here, a large storage pass-through storage here. This is where the propane tank is at. And then we have our wet bay. This is where the water tank is located. The storage here that's a pass-through. And then we've got a huge pass-through storage clear in the back that goes all the way to the other side. And then there's another door on the other side, the same. Come around to the back. And I had the hitch replaced. The, this this had a 5,000 pound hitch. I put a 17,000 pound hitch on here. Obviously it can't tow that much, but I wanted to be confident that our tow vehicle was going to be safe and secure here behind the motorhome. Around this way we got, this is the other side of that large pass-through storage. This is also a storage area where I keep my power cord. Uh, this is where the dump tank uh, valves are at. The generator then you have three storage apartments here on the side where the slide out is and then this motorhome also has a driver's door you get in and out that's pretty convenient now I'll take us around to the inside and show you the inside of the motorhome come right inside this door we have a nice camp side window where the dinette is located and then right inside the door we have switches for overhead lights the under storage lights the step and also our battery disconnect our inverter switch for 2000 watt inverter and our victron energy monitor battery monitor which monitors our solar and also our uh, lithium battery bank that we have in here we have 400 amp hours of lithium and a 2000 watt inverter. Uh, when we come inside, you can see our sofa. So the jackknife so sofa does have storage underneath. And then right above it, there's three cabinets. And then uh, all the lighting in here was changed over to LED. We do have something that's unique. Uh, this is a custom bunk. And these are some of the ones, like the kits that they are putting the Class A's now. Um, this is a manual folding bunk. And we use this here above the driver's station, the passenger driver and passenger seats. Uh, these seats do swivel around, and then you can flip the bunk up and use the seats uh, when we're camping. Or at bedtime, it's time to uh, put the bunk down, and this is how that would be. Um, we do have uh, Jensen dvd cd player and i do have a tire mo uh, tire pressure monitoring system um, we got a storage compartment here to the left of the tv and that's where the wi-fi ranger and the cell booster are located uh, we have a jensen led this is a uh, 12 volt tv so we can watch this have this going while we're going down the road or for dry camping, off grid, or wherever we're at. Um, got a couple of storage doors above the dinette, loop dinette, and that does fold down into a bed. Um, obviously, all the upholstery here has been reupholstered and decorated to suit us. Over here on the wall, we've got the thermostat for the furnace and also the front air conditioner and our water heater switch. Uh, we got our refrigerator and then there is a pantry here in the slide out right by the kitchen and a little flip up counter there we use to uh, put our water filter on there but you can use it for whatever you want uh, nice size storage in here you got a range cooktop range and a range hood and this is where your uh, tank indicators, level tank level, level indicators, and hood light and water pump switch are located. 
We got our microwave and a sink, and then there's storage below and drawers there. Then we come back to the hallway, and there used to be a large uh, six foot wardrobe in here with another set of drawers. We took out the wardrobe and put in two bunk beds, and these are 75 inches long, just like a standard bunk bed in a bunkhouse you'd find now. But it's not on a slide out, it's just in the hallway, and there's still plenty of room and four pretty nice sized drawers underneath. That last um, looks like a drawer front, that's access to the back of the water heater. And then we have the hallway here that goes to our bath. And there's a lot of storage in this bathroom, a lot more than you'd see normally in a motorhome. Um, there's two large drawers, doors there with a lot of storage, corner storage, mirror, uh, storage below the sink, right next to the sink, and then it's got a tub shower. And a very nice uh, shower head that works great. Each of the bunk beds has a little fan, an LED light, and a USB hookup so the kids can charge phones or tablets in their bunks. And then they do have the same thing down underneath. And there's a little ladder here to climb up. And then here in the bedroom, uh, we've got a queen size RV queen bed new LED lighting and then there is storage on each side and we have put shelves in those side uh, wardrobes they're not just uh, hanging space there's shelves in there and then on each side of the bed there is a, a 120 volt outlet and there's also a USB down close to the floor on the side and that pretty much Walks through the inside of our Damon Challenger 330. Thanks.